probably had some version of fruit crisp before. It's typically really high in sugar and there's lots of butter in the topping, but not my makeover. Hi, I'm Liz Weiss and today I'm making apple blueberry walnut crisp. It's naturally sweet and there's no butter in that topping. So let's get started. We start out with the filling, which is very simple. It's just three apples. You can use golden delicious. You can use either green or red, whatever you like, and then just cut it up into half inch pieces. Now to the apples, we're going to add just a few ingredients. We have two tablespoons of brown sugar. We'll mix that in in a minute. Two tablespoons of whole wheat flour. This will help to absorb some of those juices. And a little bit of cinnamon, about half a teaspoon. We have vanilla extract, just one teaspoon. And I'm gonna stir this all up and then I'll add some blueberries. Really high in antioxidants. And then what we're gonna do is just transfer the filling to a glass baking dish, just eight by eight. Most people have this at home. Now, rather than mess up another bowl, I'm gonna be really lazy and use this bowl. That way I don't have to do too many dishes. All right, the topping, very simple. We'll start out with walnuts, three quarters of a cup. Walnuts contain omega-3 fats. These are heart healthy fats, so they're really good for you. I've got a quarter cup of oats. You can use quick cooking oats, you can use any kind of oats you want. It doesn't matter, old fashioned oats right there into your topping. A little more brown sugar. I told you this doesn't have a lot of sugar in it. Just two tablespoons. So we really only have a, a quarter cup of sugar in the whole recipe. And we've got some more cinnamon, half a teaspoon, and a little bit of salt. And I've saved the cool ingredients for the end. We're gonna add two tablespoons of ground flaxseed. You might be thinking, what is ground flaxseed? Well, flaxseed is very high in omega-3 fat, again, those heart healthy fats, and you can buy it already ground and just leave it in your freezer because it's highly perishable, so it'll last longer in the freezer. And just add two tablespoons. Doesn't even really have any flavor at all, but it adds so much good nutrition. And instead of adding a stick of butter, we're gonna add some canola oil. Could all we do is add two tablespoons, and that's gonna hold this whole topping together. Okay, my family loves this recipe. All right, topping's done. So now we're just gonna go ahead and just sprinkle the topping right over our crisp. Okay, ready to go in the oven. I'm gonna bake this for 40 minutes in a 400 degree oven. Our crisp is done. So we're gonna pull that out of the oven, get ready to serve it up. All right, see, here we go. Love it. All right, so what you wanna do now is just serve it in bowls and then top it with a scoop, just one scoop of vanilla low-fat frozen yogurt. Mmm, this is so good. For meal makeovers, I'm Liz Weiss.